Jace, Christmas cracker, you versus Carruthers, Birmingham versus the Black Country. We can build it up however we want, but it's a big, big night of boxing in the uh, Midlands. Yeah, it's a um, big night to back, back, uh, back like Birmingham and Black Country. There's been a few the last couple of fights, but no, it's good, it's local. We're all looking forward to it, so you know, let's just get it out of the way now. You had a fantastic start to life as like middle, 4-2, 1-2, beat Maxwell, got your master's strap, now you're in contention for the Midlands area. You've won that at welterweight, I'd imagine the focus is now to win it at like middle. Yeah, well that's my, that's my key now, I'll play my strength at this way, this way, so it's just basically stepping up now and pro proving it, proving it to get another kid, get another good kid on, on my card like. You talk about good kids, Max Maxwell was certainly one of those. From the same stable as Terry Carruthers, what do you expect from him on the night? Well, Maxwell, I reckon Maxwell's a lot more game, a lot more stronger. Terry's a bit sharper, he's doing a lot of talking at the interviews and things like that, but he, he wants to do the talking the 19th, but basically, I know what I'm in for and he knows what he's in for, so obviously I could tell he's, he's a bit weary now because he's playing his mouth, so we'll just see like, we'll just see what's going to happen that night, but I reckon Maxwell would be a lot harder fight than, than Terry, that's all I'm saying, but I ain't looking ahead of Terry or any, any of my fighters, but I'll just give in, I'm fit, my fitness will be there, as long as I turn up on the night and do what I've got to do, that, that's it, that's all, that's all I can do and I know if I do it, I'll, I'll be bringing that bell back to this gym. When you see the head-to-heads and Terry saying to you, you're not having my belt and he's trying to wind you up a little bit, how does that, how do you react to that? Is, do you see that as a positive or negative? How do you, how do you see that? Negative, well, he looks scared. He looks scared. At the end of the day, when you're meeting a fighter, it's a, it's a professional sport. You're going to have a bit of that. But when, when me and Gavin, those are the top fighters, they say what they've got to say, but it, there ain't no bitchiness. To, uh, I don't know whether to kiss you or it. Yeah, you know, it's pathetic, you know what I mean? If he's scared, just keep it what he wants. Just when we get in that ring, there's no talking. So that, that'll be it. When the 19th, when that bell goes, if he wins, I'll shake his hand. If I lose, I'll still shake his hand, so that's the way I'm going on. What sort of a fight do you expect this one to be? People look at it from the outside and see Wellborn Carruthers, two guys who are going to tear things up. Is that how you see this one? Well, people, obviously, people say he's game, he comes to win, he's, you know what I mean? And people think, oh, I'm there, it's going to be a Stan Fairwood fight. Basically, you would. Every fight, you've got to adapt to it when you're in that ring. People can say, I'm going to walk forward, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. Until you get in that ring and you get it with a shot, you don't know what's going to happen. So, I just want to get in that ring. That's as professional of the sport. You adapt to what fight is in that ring. This time last year, we were obviously working towards the British title shot against Frankie Gavin. You've since moved up, you've got that Masters strap, you've got the opportunity for a Midlands area, and I understand this one's also an eliminator, so that carrot of that Lord Lonsdale Bay belt at light middleweight, it's up, up for grabs and it's, it's almost within your reach now. Yeah, well like you say, with Gavin and that, it wore my time, but like now, if I've stepped up and that was my weight, that was my trouble, so obviously now it's it's it, that's in the it's eliminate all going well now for the British the winner of me and Terry will fight for a British title in the new year so it's a big fight I ain't looking at it at a Midlands level because I've been there I don't know if Ter Terry's a bit of a journeyman before so that Midlands belts a lot of gold dust to him more than likely but it's eliminated that's what I'm looking at that belt would be nice to put with my one at Welter but I'm looking at the bigger picture that's what I want that's what I'm in this sport for like not to keep having little fights on local town halls. I want to be mixing it up with them so I can put 100% into my boxing, which I always do. In terms of the training camp, you had a long time to prepare for this. You knew about the fight a month or so ago. How is training going? It's going well. It's, like you say, it's been a long training camp because I was on October, but then that show was a bit of a messing about. So then we got this one and that fired me a bit like the other one will fire me a bit. And when that said the British, then I'm thinking, yeah, so this is this is a step now. Like, so. So for somebody, the Christmas present will be a Midlands area strap and a British eliminator. The other person will have a, be a bit of a nightmare before Christmas. I'd imagine that you're predicting that the nightmares for others. Yeah, well, like you say, at the end of the day, whoever wins wins. But he can keep, he can do all the talking what he wants. When he gets in there, I've got, he's got, he's got to come up with something that night. He might be sharp and bit of boxing but I've watched him I've known fighters who fought him Kevin McCourtley I've spoke to him people like that like who I train and took him the distance so I hope he has took a lot of time out to train for me because he needs it